Hello guys, we are going to do a new tutorial about uh, doing a fighting game in Godot with the spine. In this uh, tutorial, we are going to see different things from different episodes, okay? We are going to see, for example, how to download from spine to Godot, the things that we need to download, how to export from spine to Godot, the animations, okay? The skeleton. And how to, for example, in coding, we are going to see the how to do combos for the player or the enemy and how to randomize the enemy attack. Also, we are going to see the different signals that the the spine node has and we are going to get deep a little bit in this I think it will be like very interesting for you and then something that very interesting that uh, happens in the project is when you need to update the changes we're going to see how to do that okay imagine that in the spine you have a new animation and you need to do something you need to update into Godot so we're going to see also this um, many more things that if you want to suggest something that we can see it will be amazing okay so let's start uh, with the first episode that will be the setup okay guys so the first thing that we are going to do is just to create a folder named tutorial fighting game you can name it as um, as you want okay and then we are going to move to spine godot runtime okay in the esoteric software website and we are going to download Godot Editor Windows, if you are using Windows, and then Godot Export Template for Windows, okay? So we need to download these two uh, things. Once we have downloaded, we continue. Okay, guys, so the next step that we are going to do is to extract this file. And we will have a Godot application, okay? We run it. And then what we are going to create is a new project. Um, we need to uh, choose an empty folder, but what we are going to do is first find the place that we put all the files, that it was tutorial fighting game. We are going to select this folder and inside of this folder we are going to create a new one, okay? That this could be tutorial as you want. We can just copy the same name and it will be good to go. So we create this folder and we enter in Godot. Inside of Godot, we need to go to the editor, it's the first thing that we need to do, and manage export templates, okay? Here, we are going to install from file the file that we have previously downloaded and we are going to open it, okay? and Godot will install this file. Once we have this installed, if we uh, find for spine node, we are going to, okay? If we search for the spine node, we are going to find it, okay? And this is the second step that we need to do. Okay, guys, so here we have the project and all the animations that we need to do this tutorial. I. Uh, delete the non session animation because this is uh, the project that I'm doing but I simplify all the animation that we need okay so to export the animation finish we need to go to export and we have two options JSON and binary okay if we read in the spine got runtime website you will see that they recommend us to use uh, the binary skeleton over the JSON export. Why? Because they're smaller in size and faster to load, okay? So we are going to do that. But I find it to be honest with you, this is the my official project, okay? As you can see here, I have a JSON file and I export it as a JSON file. And uh, before I was recording the, this part, um, I realized that when you export in JSON to Godot, Godot is not able to read, uh, it won't appear here, the JSON files, okay? I don't know how I did it here, to be honest, I don't remember. Maybe um, I add the examples and this changed the, the spine um, file system read, I don't know. If you know guys how to 
be able to read the JSON files, it will be good to know, okay? But we are going to do it in the other way, in the way that recommend uh, esoteric software, okay? So we are going to do binary, and what we are going to do is to export this in where we have our project, that is tutorial, let's find tutorial, fighting game, tutorial fighting game, and here we are going to create a new folder called, called spine, okay? We select this folder and then it's ready to be exported. Be sure to put a non-essential data and if you want you can just copy the the um, yeah the settings that I have to I have done for the texture park pack and yes we are going to export that right away okay so once it's exported you will see that in the folder they have uh, we have different files like the atlas of the enemy the atlas of the the skeleton the skeleton and the atlas of the enemy and for the player we have the atlas and we have the skeleton okay so what we need to do now is to create a new resource called a spine skeletal data resource and we are going to for example write here a player player spine the, the skeleton data resource and we are going to create another one called for example enemy okay enemy spine skeleton data resource if we go to player you will see that we have the atlas resource and skeleton file resource so we, what we are going to do is to move the Serono atlas to here and the Serono skeleton to the skeleton okay and um, we all have finished with this move to the enemy and in the enemy we're going to see the same no, I made a mistake, sorry, because this is the enemy. In the enemy, we are going to move here and if there's a skeleton data resource here. And in the player, okay, now it's, it's good, we are going to move this and move this. Okay, so now we have the spine skeleton data resource uh, ready to... <clears throat> okay, we need to create... Uh, we are going to create a key uh, here uh, to the node and we are going to call it, for example, fight scene, okay? It doesn't matter because um, we are going to save it uh, anywhere you can save it, but I like to put things in order, so I will put scenes, okay? And we are going to save it at the fight scene, okay? And then we are going to create a new scene with a 2D and we are going to call it, for example, player. Okay. And we are going to move. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yes, we are going to add control A. We are going to add a spine uh, sprite. Okay. And with the spine sprite, what we are going to move is the skeleton data resource here. Once we have this, um, if I'm not wrong, we, we should be able to see um, this, right? Or maybe it's too big. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we need to scale it, okay? So we are going to go to uh, um, transform. And in transform, we are going to scale half. Okay, half. And we are going to move this here. As you can see, we need first to configure the resolution. Let's do it. Okay, so what we need to do is go to Project, Project Settings, and then we go to Window. Okay, here we are going to use this configuration. We are going to set it to 1920 by 1080, okay? Because uh, we have done like a high resolution uh yeah we draw like a with a high resolution so it will be um it won't have a problem and 
Yeah, we are going to set it like one twelve eighty by uh, if I don't remember well seven hundred and twenty seven twenty. Okay, and this will be the window that we are going to test the game each time. So now that you see it's well, uh, it's in the position that is in a spine. Okay, so we are going to do the same with the. Um, we are going to save this scene, it will be player scene, and then we are going to create another scene for the enemy. So just, just call it enemy. And here we are going to do the same. Control A, we are going to spine sprite, create. Here we are going to move the enemy data resource and in transform we are going to reduce to half of the resolution okay and then we are going to save it now we are going to go to fight scene and instant these two um, scenes okay so first if I'm not wrong I think will be the enemy and then we are going to import the player okay we don't want this to be you see that if we change the C order will not be as we want so we want this C order and the game is more or less settled okay we just save it and we are ready to go so one quick tip is about the art resolution when you have settled the game resolution the screen resolution I advise you to double the site for the art double the uh, resolution size why because if you scale down it won't be a problem but if you scale up maybe you might uh, lose some resolution okay so be aware of that and last but not least for this tutorial what we are going to add is the background so we are going to add another node called color rect okay color rect okay and we are going to put in the back because remember in Godot Play, the player for example here is in front and this is the back okay so we are going to choose the black color because it's so elegant co uh, okay and don't forget that we need to the mouse put to ignore okay what does it mean that for example if we have some movement some uh, motion mouse motion from the player okay the signal is start from the player to the main node is the is the how it goes okay so if the color rect works like a, all the control nodes they work like a wall okay if you put pass it won't it will pass the signal but sometimes I don't know it doesn't work maybe you can tell me but as far as I know right now if you put ignore this means that when the player has a, an input it will move from the player to the main node and in the color rect will pass this signal okay this information and it will be the information will be done okay it will be uh, performed so it's important to do this okay if not if you click or you do something it will not be detected by the by the node okay so we have this and what we need to do is uh, if I'm not grown I always have a problem with this but let's see yeah, we can put the minimum size equal to or yeah, or resolution, right? Like it's 1920 by 1080. Okay, so now we have our black elegant um, <laughs> background. What we are doing this? Because this game is about um, dodging. Okay, dodging and we need the player to be focused okay really focus because uh, the enemy will uh, punch very fast okay so we need to put the player in a clear background okay so yeah we save it and we are done with it. so thank you guys for watching in this episode we have seen how to uh, download from spine to godot okay how to install the template that it needed to be able to read the godot notes the spine notes and how to export from spine to godot and then we have d 
did like several things in order to start the coding for the next episode okay so don't forget if you like this episode uh, you will uh, be um, it will be amazing if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe for the channel because this is what has given me the motivation to keep doing the tutorial okay thanks a lot and see you in the next one bye